Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am super excited for today's video because I am finally bringing back monthly favorites. So I only really started this one time or I only made one video in this playlist or in this series. I think almost two years ago when I was really just launching my YouTube channel and figuring out what the heck I was gonna make videos on. So basically this is just a collection or a curation of all the things that I have loved throughout a month. So it could be recipes, TV, books. I don't get to read too often, but maybe some coffee table books, Amazon favorites, any kind of beauty favorites, you name it. I'm just probably gonna throw it all in here. So the first category we're starting with is lifestyle, which kind of encompasses everything from home items to just general bits and bobbles that I have picked up and started using throughout the month. So in this case, this is actually an item I cannot show you on camera because it's a little bit larger, but I will insert a picture or video right now. It is the Bissell Crosswave, which is essentially a vacuum cleaner and mop all in one. So my husband is quite a Costco shopper. He loves Costco. Every time he goes, he comes back with all kinds of treasures and he's very excited about it. But I had mentioned to him that I was interested in getting one of these duo mop vacuum type things. And of course he came home with the Crosswave. As soon as we started using it, we loved it and we were also grossed out by how dirty our floors were. So we love this thing. It stores away really nicely in our closet. Now, if you don't have lots of closet space um, or garage space to store this away, it may not be something that you wanna invest in, but we have plenty of that here in our house and we just like how simple and quick it is to clean up any of Gus's messes, whether it's food or mud, water, leaves, mulch, all of those things. So I like how the vacuum kind of picks up those larger pieces and then the mop kind of cleans and shines the floor. So you do put in like a little bit of cleaner mixed in with really super hot water and the cleaner smells super nice. It has a lemon scent, but it's not overpowering like Pledge is. It almost, you know, Pledge almost gives you a headache when you spray that which I'm not a huge fan of. But with this, you dilute it in that water, like I said, and then it just kind of sprays and goes back and forth on the floor. So we definitely have loved using the Crosswave, especially as the snow has been melting and it's been a little bit more rainy outside. Our backyard is a total mud pit, which of course Gus loves, but we just don't. My second favorite in the lifestyle category is something that I could display right here, but I feel like it is better displayed in the kitchen. It is this air bake pizza pan. And over on Instagram, I mentioned that throughout the month of February, John and I had been making homemade pizzas pretty much every Friday night, and that was because that is when WandaVision was on, so we just wanted something kind of fun, low-key to munch on while we were sucked into the drama that is WandaVision. But this is actually a gift from my in-laws for Christmas. Beforehand, we were just using the disposable tin foil pans, the kind that you just get at the grocery store, which were really handy because we, in our condo, we didn't have a large space to store a pizza pan, so it just really wasn't practical for us. But now that we're in a bigger home, we have a bigger kitchen, lots more storage, we were so happy to receive this as a gift and our crust is no longer soggy. This pan actually has like little holes all on the bottom of it, which I think really helps the crust to bake really evenly, so this has been handy for our homemade pizza nights. Another favorite that is actually down in my kitchen, but I have a backup with me right here. It is this milk and sugar candle from the Milk House Candle Company brand. So I originally found this at Home Goods in their candle section, and I grabbed two of them. And then just recently, I ended up seeing an entire collection of these candles at my local antique shop. And then I ended up finding it on Amazon because I was getting ready to film this video. So this brand is on Amazon. You can check out their full range of fragrances, but this one is so good. It just makes your house smell super warm, inviting, a little bit of sweetness. Um, I would say that it's top note, and their website says caramel, vanilla, and nutmeg. I definitely get the caramel first and then a little bit of that vanilla. And I think that it reminds me of the Werther's Caramel Store or Caramel Shop in Disney World. Everything always comes back to Disney. But I really think that it just has that scent, like when you first walk in, you're just met with that warm caramel scent that smells like buttery with the vanilla. It's just delightful. So if you want your home to smell like that, definitely give this candle a try. And the last item in this category is this Travel Tech Organizer. 
I picked this up off of walmart.com. It is the brand Modal, which I think is exclusive to Walmart because I searched for it all over and couldn't find it anywhere else. So the unfortunate thing about this, and I hate sharing favorites that are out of stock, but this one is out of stock. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to link this product down below and you can sign up for in-stock notifications if you really want to snag this one. I'm sure that it will come back, but I will also link some Amazon dupes down below so you can also check those out. I've actually just started using this over the past month as I've been going back into my school building. Um, my focus is on technology. So this has been really helpful for me to kind of put all of my different uh, technology tools in one place and just pop it into my bag. So I'll give you a close up of this so it's not, you know, kind of all falling out as I am displaying it up here. But over on the left hand side, there is a little flat zipper pouch. It really doesn't have too much depth into it. So that is where I typically store all of my memory cards just to make sure that they aren't in my pocket or in a larger zipper in my bag, kind of getting lost all over the place. On the other side is the larger compartment and on the bottom of that there are some elastic little loops and snaps where you can put headphones in or different charging cables, which is what I mostly have. And then on top of those, I go ahead and lay some of my larger pieces of technology or they're smaller but larger pieces. So I have my external hard drive in here just to make sure that my computer is staying nice and organized of all of my files. I have a little adapter with different ports on it for my computer since it doesn't have everything I need. And then I have my AirPods. So everything fits in here really nicely. I like the little gold zipper on the outside. It's kind of got like a faux black leather exterior. And the nice thing is, is that it's got some structure, but it also has a little bit of flexibility. And I have tried putting my camera in here before when I couldn't find my camera case. It was kind of the next best solution because I wasn't just going to throw it into my backpack. So I have a Canon G7X Mark II and it actually fits in here just fine. Obviously I wouldn't do that day to day, but I was in a pinch and I needed to put it somewhere just to be able to take it to work. So this was my go-to. I think I'm gonna go ahead and move into the beauty category next, which is one of my favorites. Now I've been sharing quite a few of my beauty favorites here in my channel lately. I did a top five skincare favorites. Um, you can check out that video right up here if you're interested. And I think I recently did, I did a little get ready with me video where some of my recent makeup products are in there. But I do have some brand new favorites that have never been seen on pop vlogs before. And the first one kind of squeaked in here at the end of February. It is the Milani Supercharged Under Eye Brightener. I am in the shade 110 Pink Rose, which I believe is their lightest shade. And essentially this is a color corrector. Now here's the thing. I really don't typically have very dark under eyes. So I don't have lots of blues or purples. But whatever it was in February, um, I think I was staying up a little bit later than usual, so I was feeling a little bit more tired. My under eyes were not looking super cute. So this kind of came in at the end of the month and saved my under eyes, got added lots of hydration and brightened them up just like it said it would. And the way that I apply it, I just take a little bit of this, I tap it under my eye, and then I use a brush to kind of make sure that it is pressed in. Then I let that set for one minute and then I go ahead and grab any concealer in my drawer. Doesn't matter what you grab. I have the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I just put this on top, blend it in, and then if I need to, I'll put a little bit of setting powder to make sure it's not going to crease. But I really love this stuff. And if you need something to brighten up your under eyes too, give this a try. And a setting powder that I have recently loved using is this Maybelline Fit Me powder. This is the translucent pressed powder. And it says that it gives a matte and poreless finish. So I wanted to just get the pressed powder. I do have some loose powders in my makeup vanity. They're great if you have lots of time to make sure that you get a beauty blender and kind of press those into your skin. But if you are in a rush, like I often am on days where I have to go into work, it just kind of makes everything feel a little bit more messy and I worry about the powder kind of falling out onto my clothing. So I don't have to worry about that with this, but I do find that it gives a poreless kind of airbrushed finish to the skin. But what I like to do with this to make sure that it doesn't make me look too matte, I will take this 
e.l.f. small taper brush. I actually got this at Ulta for like clearance, five bucks. I will tap it into the powder and then just kind of put it wherever I need it. So usually that is right around the sides of my nose, over at the top of my chin, and then trying to keep my bangs out of the way, I'll do it right here on my forehead. So I guess it's kind of two favorites in one. So you have the poreless powder and then the e.l.f. tapered brush. And once I'm all done powdering my face and getting everything set for the day, I'll go ahead and finish it off with this Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. So I've heard great things about this. I went ahead and picked it up in this special, I think this was their holiday edition set, but it's a really light, fine mist. The only thing that you might not like about it is it does have a little bit of a fragrance, maybe floral. I really can't tell exactly what it is. Hasn't irritated my skin. It took me some getting used to when I first started um, setting my face with this, but overall I think that it helps my makeup melt into my skin. I don't think that it is the best stay all day setting mist. I think there are better ones out there if you're really looking to lock in your makeup under your mask or eventually if you're going out and about for an event. I think there are a few better ones for that, but just for everyday wear um, and melting your makeup down to make it more skin-like and maybe a little less powdery, this is a great one. And I forgot to mention, I don't know where the cap is. I lost it somewhere, but we really don't need that. And after I've done all of that, brightening my under eyes, setting my face with the powder, and setting it with the setting mist, I'm ready to take it off at the end of the day. And I've been reaching for this Neutrogena Makeup Remover Balm. This is just another cleansing balm, but I really like that it is drugstore and it's fragrance-free. But this is great for just melting away all of the makeup off of my face. It takes off my eye makeup as well, and it's super gentle. I've just been trying to use this more than my makeup remover wipes. One, because those don't take every single bit of makeup off, and two, because those have a negative impact on the environment. So I figured that I would give this a try, and it's fun to try new skincare, um, and this has been a great addition to my routine. So now I think that is officially everything from the beauty category, so we're gonna move into the last one, which is Instagram accounts. So that one is a little bit unusual, but there are three Instagram accounts that I have been following or I was following throughout the month of February, and I still am. Um, but I was really interested in the stories they were posting, actual posts with pictures that they that kept popping up in my feed. So I just wanted to share those with you. So the first one is Blooming DIY. So if you are someone who likes farmhouse decor, antique stuff, vintage stuff, um, cozy cottage style, you're going to love this account. Now, I am not someone who is the best at DIY projects. Um, cutting down wood, measuring things, all of that kind of intimidates me. But this account is run by a woman. Her name is Dale Marie, and she is actually in Canada. And I feel like all of the things that she posts and puts stories on, um, she also has a really incredible blog with lots more details. I feel like they're all things that I could do, and I love being crafty and being creative. So my hope for the springtime as the weather warms up is that I will get out into my garage and tackle some of these fun DIY projects that she has posted. And I've got my phone here with me, so if you see me looking down, I am checking out Instagram. But the next account that I've been following for a while, but I've just loved seeing their small business grow, it is Zippity Tees, and it's two cousins. Their names are Devin and Carrie, and they create the coolest Disney t-shirt designs. Now I know there are so many different um, Disney apparel designers out there just doing really cool and creative things, but um, I stumbled upon Devin and Carrie's small business and lately they have just been pumping out so many different designs. I think the one that I saw most recently was their Camp Walden design, so it was from the Parent Trap movie, which I love. And they've also been doing all kinds of ones for the Princess Marathon. They have one called Bibbidi Bobbidi Brunch with Mickey Waffles on it. Um, let's see, I see Tangled on here. Um, Spot the Snipe, that's awesome. That is from Up. But I think it's really cool when Devin and Carrie share the thinking behind their designs or who came up with it or they'll do like a time lapse of their sketches every now and then, or they'll just show a sneak peek and you have to guess what it is. 
So it's just really fun to interact with their content. And if you're looking for a cool Disney tee, whether it's just to wear at home or for an upcoming vacation, definitely check out their small shop. And this last account is from a makeup artist. Her name is Julia Roseman. And I actually found her over on TikTok first, but she does have an Instagram. So if Instagram is more your speed and more your platform, you can find her on there. But what I think Julia does super well is that she creates these little bite-sized videos that are super easy and they're just fun to watch. So when I say easy, um, they're not overwhelming with all different kinds of crazy makeup techniques or different crazy tools, super expensive stuff. I just think that she's really realistic in her delivery and if you are someone who has never worn makeup before or you just want to refresh your skills or you just want to watch someone who isn't super intimidating, definitely check out her Instagram account. She's got all kinds of things on here. She's got like foolproof eye makeup tips, makeup mistakes that you don't want to make and maybe how you can fix them, how to apply foundation with a sponge, or highlighting 101. So just small bite-sized little videos that I think that you'll really enjoy no matter where you are in your makeup journey. So I think those are all of my February favorites. If you are interested in checking out any of the products or Instagram accounts that I mentioned, of course, it'll all be in the description box down below. And I'm really looking forward to collecting all of my favorites for March and bringing that video to you either at the end of March or the very beginning of April. It just kind of depends when I pick up the camera or how many favorites I have. Like I said in this video, there are a few that squeak in right at the end and I really want to share those with you guys. But if you enjoyed watching this video, I would really appreciate it if you would give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel so you can stay tuned for more monthly favorites and more videos like this one. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.